bit of RC. This video is going to be fitting some more blue goodies. So we've got new body mounts, new shock tower mounts. So let's get to it. I'm thinking the old ones will just unscrew. Off the diff covers. And one. Yeah. Just four screws. It's on either side. It should be off and popping. Let's hope everybody's well out there. Hopefully we can get this A979 up and running at some point this week, get it out, even if I haven't got the bearings yet, I'm still going to try and get it out, get it running. There we go, so just four screws, there and there, to remove that mount. So we've got two new blue mounts and two new tower mounts. So that one there, that one there, they look identical to me. So we're just going to fit them. In the same same lugs these are so that looks like it's second from the top put them together i think that's actually a bit higher mm, not much though so second up there got these screws that go into this somehow Oh, look at that. Lined up first time. Not bad. Not bad. But these are directional, I just realised. And I've looked out and put them on the right way. Okay, I'll show you in a second. I've got the screw in. So, they have flat side and a grooved side. Grooved side is to fit on the actual diff cover to allow you to fit it properly Make sure these line up. Don't know that little bumpers in the way. Yeah. Looks like it lines up. But if I didn't keep dropping everything. Maybe I'll we'll take that one. What do you think? Well, it's going in. Open it that one. Try and get these four screws back in where they came from. A bit of luck. Not too much trouble. We'll get them in. Try not to use too much of this metal upgrade kit because. I don't want to add a, a ridiculous amount of weight to it. Um, but they've been a speed run car. Want to.
Yeah, being a speedrun kind of, I want to keep it live, but obviously I want a bit of weight to keep it on the floor. So it's that middle ground. You don't want too much, but you don't want too little. So um, carbon fibre chassis has added a little bit of weight. Not a great deal. There's not that much difference in it, to be honest. But with the metal hubs and the shock towers, it's gonna add a look. It's gonna add a little bit to it. There's, there's, there's no getting around it. But I wanted the the, the durability and the the weight, the durability, and I wanted the obviously the, the toughness of the the metal hubs. But, some people out there don't like them. I personally do. I don't like the metal hubs. I've got them on all my builds. I think they, they're okay for what they do. Um, not everybody likes them, but it's my build, so it does what it does. So, same again. Pop the middle screw back in. If we get this done quite easily, I think I'm going to put the new metal plate on the front on the the metal radio tray. Can't get the words out today. Struggling. So same again, same again, two screws to hold the um, body post on and then replace the four screws in the diff cover. Um, don't over tighten them because it's going to rip the threads out of the plastic diff covers um, <clears throat> and we don't want, we don't want that because the only other option is to put bigger screws in and then you run the risk of if they rip or it could split the diff housing and you really don't want that because then you've got to buy new diff housings and it's more money which people don't want to spend so there we go no more screwing that's that's the hubs fitted and the shock towers fitted, engine mounts on, carbon fiber chassis plate, upgraded the allen key bolts. Yeah, it's looking looking good. It's um looking real good. It's yeah, it's coming together. I'm quite quite impressed with it actually. It does I do like it. I do like it, it looks looks nice it's obviously going to look a lot better when there's a big motor in there and the ESC's on there the mm, yeah I, I'm I'm digging it yeah I'm, I'm actually liking it I don't think I'd like the blue but you can't really get this these upgrade kits they come with everything with different cores um, usually just get this blue and I'm not a, a massive lover of the blue but it it does look quite quite good to me so yeah we've got the little steering rods to connect up as well and uh, that's why I haven't put the the balls in in place because don't need to at this moment in time and then they'll obviously be replaced with these arms the, they all look the same size i think there's six in there all the same size two for the back four for the front so right what i'm going to do is i'm going to end this video here 
just for ease because I want to replace this with the metal one which is here I also want to replace this metal steering column because it's quite a bit of play in that so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching as always if you like what you see like and subscribe smash the bell button get the notifications so the upcoming videos got some good stuff coming up on the channel um check us out at facebook at big beard rc and yeah we'll call it a day on that one so i'll see you on another video